Okay guys, we're ready to make the body of our rocket. So we start with our PVC pipe. It's half inch pipe. I bought half inch pipe, five feet of it at Lowe's for a dollar and 38 cents. It's already cut down to five feet. And this one is 11 inches or 12 inches long. Let's check, let's check. Yeah, this one is 10 and a half. So it doesn't have to be exactly a certain length because it just has to be as wide as, as long as this paper is wide. I'm using colored paper so you can see it easier on the camera. And just line up the edge of the paper with the edge of the pipe and start rolling it and try to make sure you're doing it straight. So I'm just watching the side here to make sure it rolls straight. Looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. This part can get kids frustrated sometimes, even adults. And all I'm doing now is I, I want this paper to be a little looser around the pipe. So I'm just gonna shake, shake it a little as I loosen my grip so that it can slide on the pipe easily. So that when we launch the rocket, it'll be able to come off the pipe without using too much pressure and without losing a lot of your launch power due to friction on the pipe. So now, either you can hold it down or you can get someone to help you hold it down. And we just, I always start in the middle and put a piece of tape. Now the main thing is don't put too much tape all over it because that adds weight to your rocket. And a heavy rocket will not launch as high. Okay, and once I have the whole seam taped up, I'm gonna make sure I don't have any tape going over the edges. I'm just gonna fold that in a little. Okay, and I won't need the pipe again until I make another rocket or I make, an, make the launcher. Okay, so here's my tube. That'll be the body of the rocket. And a really easy way to make the top of the rocket is to pinch the top like this. Pinch the sides a little bit about that far and then fold the top over like that that way it won't be quite so pointy I know it looks it doesn't look like it would fly well but it actually will and if you watch the NASA video that I have in the description of this video you'll see that that's how they do it sometimes I cut the top into a triangle shape but that can poke into things if it hits hits an object one one time I launched one in class just to demonstrate and we just did it softly you know with I used my hand instead of my foot and it actually stabbed a piece of cardboard in the that was hanging from the ceiling so yeah this one is more blunt so hopefully you won't stab anything with it make sure you never aim it at anything you just aim it up in the air and when we make the launcher I'll show you how you can make sure it's not going to hit anybody on the ground Okay, so there's the body and the nose cone is finished. And now let's make the fence. Okay, so I have a three by five index card. This is actually card stuck that I cut to that size, but you can just get some that are already made this size. Mine are at school, so I had to make one here. Okay, fold it in half. Make sure you really check your edges here to make sure it's even on both sides. And now I'm going to fold down that crease nice and tight. Okay, open it up. And while I'm doing that, I'll just do the other card that I have. It takes two cards. Check my edges again, check the corners. Okay, and start pressing it down. Put it down on the table and press really hard. If it's hard for you to do, you can use a piece of wood or something to make your crease tight. Okay, and open it back up. Now I'm gonna use this ruler or other kind of straight edge and I'm going from a corner here to this corner over here. 
and I'm going to draw a line there so I know where to cut it. Then I'll do the same thing from this center center point over to the other corner. Okay, now we can cut those off, but I know I have to do it to this car too, so I'm just going to do it to this one too. Looks like we're making a triangle, and really we are. And we're going to split that triangle into two to make fins for our rocket. Okay, now I'm ready to cut these off. Be careful when you're using your scissors or have an adult help you. Okay, now I'm ready to tape them onto the body of the rocket. Now the, the width of the tape I'm using is three quarters of an inch can double check again so what I what I did the other night when I made these practicing is I just drew little lines so I would know where the tape will be so I'm gonna do that again so that means I'll have three eighths on each side three eighths of an inch on each side of this center line so I know the tape will be here One, two, three, three eighths. Hope I'm not getting in the way of the camera. One, two, three, one, two, three. I just want to know about where the tape's going to go. So when I put it onto the rocket, I'll have it in the right place. And I have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths. just so I know about where the tape's going to go. And then I need to fold these kind of on a line there. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that when I tape it down, the fins don't try to lift the tape off the body of the rocket. You guys can do it however you want. You don't have to do it the same way I am. I don't think the, the video of the NASA person doing this, she doesn't mark any lines for these folds. So you can just kind of do it how you want. Sometimes I even make these rockets, well, actually most of the time I used to make these rockets just by cutting that big triangle in half, but the fins will be a lot stiffer and stay stay more stabilized if you don't do that. So we're, we're doing it this way. So we can keep this big triangle together and make, make the fins stronger. So the easiest way for me to fold this is to look at that line and fold the index card on that line. And since I have them folded out this way, I'm going to tape it down to the body of the rocket this way. But I have to fold this one first. Okay. Okay, and we're ready to put them on the rocket. And remember, don't use too much tape. The more tape you use, the heavier the rocket will be in. That's bad. Weight for rockets is bad. I know that on the videos, on some of the videos that I am sharing with you guys, 
they move the fin up a little and you can do that. I just like to have mine down low. I like the fins to be as low as they can so they're easier just to stand up on a table if I want to. And then you can put your tube, your PVC tube back in there and press down just to make sure you have the tape as, as snug as it can be. Now I'm going to flip it over and put the other one, the other set of fins. So I'm going to look and say, okay, that looks like about, about even. If you do fold tape over, be sure you leave enough room for your tube to go back in there because you need to have room to launch it. Okay. So sometimes it's easier if you just press the tape onto the fin and then put the fin on the rocket. Like that. And that's not very tight, right? So I'm going to slide this in and press it hard. Okay, still need to do the bottom part. Okay, and there's the rocket. And next I'll make a video and show you guys how to make your launcher.